Let's see here, let's check our mailbox. Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. Sweet. Oh my god, it keeps going. There's another one in there. Well, that's it. We got upgrades that just came in the mail. Oh yes, I have to show you guys this. You're gonna love them. You're gonna absolutely love them. Don't look at this. I'm, I'm trying to get this put together. That, that, that's another video. Anyway, ah, uh, upgrades, man. Like new shocks, carbon fiber center brace. Ah, uh, it's so awesome. Look, aluminum gearboxes or diff cases, whatever you wanna call these. Look at the beauty of that. What's going on? How are we doing? Look, some things have arrived. And you know me, I got to show it to you guys. Oh man, these aluminum di uh, gearbox. Uh, I got two of them. They're so pretty. So shocks came in. Uh, our new sets of tires that came in our lipo bags and also check this out the carbon fiber center brace right remember i was talking to you guys about the carbon fiber center brace because this is the stock one this ugly red aluminum one and we got us a nice carbon fiber one should we open it let's open it at that all carbon fiber the ends are aluminum right isn't that beautiful a lot better looking than this right now one thing i did notice was that this is a lot thicker than this too but i guess it has to be it's carbon fiber but man it is gorgeous and it's gonna look way better than this thing oh yeah so Let's look at these next. These are the Entergy gearboxes that we got, the aluminum ones. And I bought a front and a rear. So that way they match. That way it looks good too. I mean, it's it's gonna look awesome. Let's uh let's see here real quick. Uh all right, so it will go like that. Alright, so it will kind of go, it'll go like that. That's it sitting on the truck. Yeah, it's gonna look way better. I can't wait till we get all this hooked up. Oh, by the way, you see this piece right here? Boom, check it. Look what's also came in right here. That's that brace. This is the aluminum one. I looked at a lot of these, man, but this one right here was definitely by far the most structural one that I saw. A lot of them were real thin. Yeah, they were made out of aluminum, but this one right here just seemed to be more beefier, and that's what you want. You want this thing to be super beefy, so that just arrived. Pretty. This, gotta have this, check it out, it's aluminum. See, on the car, right, on the car here, it's plastic, and I don't want that, because we also ordered all of this in here, aluminum, which is coming, that won't be here for a until uh, the next month. But anyway, this plastic piece needs to be replaced. So we got the aluminum one to go in its place. So that way it's one less thing that can, I don't want no weakness. You know what I'm saying? 
no weakness guys we got to have some strong parts on this truck and that's what we're going for because we're going to abuse the crap out of it definitely going to abuse it uh let's see here i think i've already showed you guys the braces right so we got the front and the rear brace okay and then oh yes this this is cool too this is the front part of the steering housing so uh you see this plastic piece here this plastic piece is this aluminum piece so it will take its place because this is all plastic and then we'll take that aluminum housing out we also got this plastic piece that runs across we got that coming too that's also going to be aluminum because you want it all to be aluminum and it's going to look blue it's going to look so good i mean with that nice black anodized look right with that carbon fiber center brace running through it oh it's going to look great and also the shocks right these are our stock shocks they're red in color not my favorite but whatever these are nice man i like the blue blue looks good anodized looks good looks good we bought some sock shocks or sock shock socks basically they're like these things that go over the entire shock and they protect them they keep the dirt and grime out because dirt and grime is like your worst enemy it's nice to see them with these like bladders on them right here to protect them because man dirt would get in there and chew these shocks to pieces so we got some sock shocks coming and of course i got a full set i actually ordered two sets of these so i have a grand total of eight the other set will be here in a couple of days um why did i order that because shocks will bend they will break you will wear them out and these they don't make them anymore to where you can like put parts in them anymore really so just buy and replace move on but that's okay so hopefully these shocks will do us some good uh this is transmission grease so for our diffs because we have one ways that are coming directional one ways uh, okay cool here's another aluminum part all right so this piece here uh let's see here so this is the plastic part to it okay now you see how it has these plastic spacers i still have to get those um i have to get them in aluminum but this part uh is this piece and basically it will go on top these are going to go on the body they're basically skid protectors for your body so you don't chew the body all up i'm actually playing with the notion of buying a clear body just so i can paint it and deck it up myself and we'll probably put these on here so yeah that's what they're basically meant for you put them on the body and when you roll the truck your these things take the brunt force of it instead of your body get all chewed up we went with some rpm arms okay so this is important because we have the rpm mud flaps that are going to go over the arms all right um, but they don't fit our stock arms so we had to buy the rpm arms so we're going to just replace the rear we're going to replace the rear um, stock arms with the rpm arms and then run the mud flaps on the front here we're going to keep the stock fronts but these upper shafts we're getting them in blue aluminum so that way the structural at the top is much stronger because this is what actually holds the tires up usually when you break something it's usually the lower arm but um, i found that um, a lot of the guys were saying that the upper arms break too real easy on these things for some reason so i replaced those we also got rear cvds that are coming as well uh, the the current setup for the back drive is dog bones and we don't want dog bones we want to go with cvd so we're going with cvd's lipo bag it's just basically you keep your lipos in it so that way if one of them ever decides to have a hissy fit it won't burn down your vehicle or your house or wherever the battery is currently being stored um, they also recommend that you charge them when you're charging your battery that you charge them while they're in these bags so that way if something goes wrong it will be prevented and i bought three of those so i got a three pack 
which I don't know where the third one is. I think I took it out. It's probably my room, but looks phenomenal. Check out my new watch. Looks cool too, right? Awesome. Yeah. And then here's our tires. We bought four pairs of these. They're pre-glued. They're one eight scale truggy buggy tires. Uh, you know, they're real soft. They got a, a real soft compound in them that they're made of, but I like the front rim. They, I like the design of it. It has a good look to it. So once this truck, all right, once we get this thing all changed out and we get all the parts here, this truck's going to be awesome. It's going to look awesome. It's going to drive awesome. It's going to feel awesome. And you guys will be there to catch the awesomeness. I, I just can't wait to put all these parts on here. All these new aluminum parts have just been showing up in the mail. And all I've been doing with them is shelving them because I can't currently do anything with them. You know, there's no point in tearing this down and working on it. I mean, I guess I could tear apart the gearboxes and go ahead and do that, but I'm waiting for the one ways to show up. There's going to be a one way in the front. Um, and then the rear gearbox or the rear diff is actually getting replaced with the aluminum diffs. So I really can't do anything until I get those put together because it all starts from the ground up. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you guys some of the uh, the new parts that showed up. Entity.com, that's where I got most of this stuff um, at. And then the other half of it was this uh, Hot Racing. They, uh, they're all on Amazon, so that's where I got most of this stuff at. And same with the shocks. These are ZD shocks, ZD racing shocks. So they were made for eight scale buggies. So hopefully they last and do a good job. When the other set comes, I'll show you guys those. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm getting out of here. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that current stuff. That's that's it. We got to get our battery station set up. I'm trying to design a way to where I could have both of my battery chargers on like a station, kind of like this maybe. I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to figure something out or maybe I could run them this way. I don't know. I I've, I've been playing with them. Maybe uh you know, one could be separate like this and you could have them Let's see here, like this, you know, kind of like that. I don't know. 